My name is Donnie Lowy from CloseOutExplosion.com. I have a wholesale business here in Brooklyn, New York. Thanks for you are in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. Today I'd like to discuss with you the topic of buying wholesale Nigerian dresses through DHgate. As you might know, DHgate is a Chinese website and what they do is they list wholesalers and those manufacturers and distributors and if you are looking for Nigerian dresses at a wholesale price, that's one of the websites where you can try. You can visit DHgate and see what they have available. Now, let me tell you the advantages, first of all, of dealing with DHK. The advantages are that the website gives you protection as a buyer. You can look at the feedback. You can see a lot of different information. You can pay through their website. And you have some confidence in knowing that if you don't get the merchandise, you will get a refund or if there are damages and the merchandise is not the way it was described, then you can appeal to DHK and hopefully get a refund or a partial refund. And another advantage of DHgate is that you're going to be reaching many, many different suppliers. You can search by the keyword Nigerian dresses. You can search by the keyword wholesale Nigerian dresses. You can even have to do a more refined search, such as wholesale party Nigerian dresses, and so on. You could spend hours and days looking online for different wholesale sources of Nigerian dresses. You might find what you're looking for, you might not. And the same could happen at DHK. The advantages are when you're on their website and you can see all the different listings and all the listings will, will, will be in you know, one central location and they will match the keywords that you're searching for. Now, one of the things that I also that I liked about the site when I looked at it, and I want to be upfront with you, I've never bought anything through DHgate, so this is just my observations by looking at the website and trying some, out some of their features. And so one of the things that I discovered, first of all, you can search by price, you know, there's other variables that you could put in, you know, you could base your search on. And one of the things that I like is that many of the sellers offer free shipping. So that's, you know, there's definitely a big advantage to that. Now, the challenge is that although the prices might be very good for retail buyers, most of the prices that I saw um, are not the best competitive wholesale prices. Technically, they can be wholesale prices. And also just because, look, the, just to be fair to the sellers in DHK, just because a wholesale price is high, it doesn't mean that that's not a good price. I'll give you an explanation. Let's say I see a wholesale Nigerian dress which has a price of $200. And I say, wow, that's a high price. I'm used to buying dresses from clothesatexplosion.com for $30 or $25 a dress. So $200 is definitely a much higher price than $25 or $30. But if you're getting a $5,000 dress, meaning you're getting a dress that has a retail value of $5,000, and it's a dress that would be really popular among consumers in Abuja, or Lagos, or, or Harcourt, you could buy that $5,000 dress for $200, and let's say put it in Naira terms, let's say if it's 360 Naira to the dollar, and that means you're gonna be buying that dress for uh, 7,200 Naira, if, I, if my math was, no, yeah, if my math was correct. Actually, I'm sorry, um, yeah, 7,200 Naira, so in that in that instance, I'm sorry, 72,000 euro. But the point is that whatever the exact amount is, just because the price is high doesn't mean you should not buy that dress because, because what you should base your decision is on how much more can you sell that dress and if you can sell a dress. If you can sell a dress and you can sell a dress at a higher price, then it's worth buying the dress. Another thing to consider, and this is a challenge that I've seen on DHgate, and this is a challenge I'm sure that happens in other websites and in other even brick and mortar wholesale marketplaces, is that there are a lot of middlemen, meaning that there can be a manufacturer who makes the Nigerian dresses, and that manufacturer might be on DHgate as well, and then there'll be other wholesalers and distributors that are selling the merchandise from that manufacturer. And one thing you should definitely, you know, be aware of is that people can take stock pictures and they can use those pictures to sell their dresses. Now, if the stock pictures are representative sample pictures, then that might be okay. Right? As long as they tell you 
that the dress you might receive will be slightly different, could be a different color, a different size, a slightly different style. But if they tell you that those stock pictures are a representation of the type of dresses you're, that you're going to receive, and in effect, you do receive those types of dresses, then it's okay if you use stock pictures. But if you don't want to deal with a supplier that is using a stock picture and doesn't even have a dress that's anything like that stock picture. So definitely, you know, be, make it very clear that you're going to be getting the type of dresses that are being represented in those pictures or the exact dress and try to determine if you're dealing directly with the supplier. One of the ways to know if you're dealing directly with the supplier is by seeing who has the lowest prices for that specific model. Now, keep in mind that you can have a wholesaler that got an unbelievable closeout price from the manufacturer and now he can charge a lower wholesale price than the wholesale price that the manufacturer charges on a regular basis. That's possible. So there, sure, you're dealing with a middleman, you're not dealing directly with the manufacturer, but guess what? If you're getting a lower price and if you bought it directly from the manufacturer and you're buying an authentic and genuine dress, then you're good to go. And once you are in DHgate and you're looking for products for your boutique in Abuja or you're looking for products for your market business in Port Harcourt, look for other items as well. Contact the supplier and find out what other items they suggest. They might have a great closeout in their warehouse that they can offer you. Now, I recommend that you deal with suppliers through DHgate. Don't do business outside DHgate unless you really trust the supplier and you're familiar with their business and they have references. You can read up about them and watch your videos. Um, you just want to make sure that you're dealing you know, with a good supplier because if you go outside of DHgate, meaning you find a supplier in DHgate but conduct business outside of the website, you won't have the protection that DHgate gives you. If you do deal through DHgate, you will have the protections that they give you. All right, the next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse, or you can send someone on your behalf, or you can also order online or through WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is 917-913-6093. I sell brand name clothing, fashion clothing, private label clothing, at brand name dresses by Nine West, Calvin Klein, Ann Klein, R&M Richards, Kathy Roberts, many other brands have overstocked children's clothing, I have socks, I have fashion jewelry, I have really good items, I have many customers in Nigeria, I supply wholesalers in Nigeria, I supply retailers in Nigeria, so I am very familiar with the kind of merchandise that is popular and that Nigerians like. All right, so I'd be very happy to do business with you. My website is closed at explosion.com. Thank you and have an amazing day.